It was very um, humble. He was a very humble, sweet guy and a good friend. And yeah, I do miss him. Warren Fusel was the first radio announcer, the play-by-play -play for the Brooklyn Cyclones. There was this buzz going around the office about this radio announcer, this sportscaster coming to do the Brooklyn Cyclones games and people were, you know, the, my colleagues were excited. And then when I met him, I realized why they were excited because, you know, he was really a big, big wig in sports. It was really big, big to do even though he would never agree to that. <laughs> yeah. I love Warner because he was a gentle giant. Giant. He was um, very personable and uh, we spent a lot of time one-on-one -on -one when he was here just uh, talking somewhat about sports but more about life. He did mean a lot to me, that's why. Although I don't like being on film and I know you're gonna cut a lot of this, right? Excuse me. Warner had a love for fried chicken kisses. <laughs> um, I guess that was a southern dish. And he complained about they didn't know how to make it properly here. So I actually took time to research how to cook it. And that was the weekend before, uh, which would have been his 12th season. And I never got to actually share that with him because he passed prior to his 12th season of opening day. But one of you so was an awesome person and he spent a lot of time up in the cat seat, which I call the uh, bird cage. So we would joke about that. And we just had a lot of little times, you know, a little personal times together and we a chair cake or a little piece of cake for his birthday because he didn't want people making fuss over him but I remember his birthday also. One thing Warner and I had in common was our annual um, Nathan's hot dog during opening day or prior to opening day we would have a hot dog and that happened by chance I just happened to see him one day, day at Nathan's before opening day and uh, then it became a tradition. We had a hot dog there, and then if I wasn't able to go to Nathan's because I was at the front desk, he would bring a hot dog, and that became a tradition for us, which I missed uh, until Keith Rat came and was able to kind of fill Warner's shoes. But uh, that was important to me. Warner uh, was, again, like a gentle giant. As big as he was, he was very soft-spoken and um, very kind. One thing he liked to share was uh, his family. He talked about his sister and his chickadees, excuse me. His voice, I, I'd love to see when, uh, <clears throat> knowing that Warner was coming through the door, we knew that it was just about game time because he didn't come here for any foolishness. He just wanted to get right to work and get ready for the game. And he had a strong voice, but it was passive as well. And just the fact that he was uh, so passionate about sports and he just knew everything, everyone's stats, and he was so informative. He just, he, he knew it all. And I just want to say, I know he would have loved this championship. I'm telling you, this is for you as well, Warner. We are the 2019 New York Penn League champions, and I say you had something to do with that as well, building up. <laughs>